Hello. Our lesson today is how to use a number line to describe data and symbols to compare numbers. Also, we will take rational number and comparing ordering the rational number. Start. Counting numbers. What the meaning of counting numbers? Amir wanted to know how many balls he has got. So he started to count his balls like that. One, two, three. So counting numbers from name count. I start counting numbers from number one, two, three, four, and so on. It means that the smallest counting numbers is zero, is one, sorry, and without ending. Natural numbers, when I add zero it joined to the counting numbers, we get natural numbers. If I add zero to the counting numbers, we will get natural numbers. Natural numbers, zero, one, two, three, and so on. Take care of it. The counting numbers begin with the number one and continue without ending. But the natural numbers begin with the number zero and continue without ending. The smallest natural number is zero, but we said that the smallest counting number is one. Yes. Integers. Are there any numbers less than zero? Yes, of course. For example, in Canada, sometimes the temperature record is 30 degrees below zero. And we will call it negative 30, not minus 30. We called it, or we say it, negative 30 degrees. Means that the integers, including natural numbers, start from 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on, and also including negative numbers, like that. Negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, zero and positive numbers. We will show you the integers on the number line. We have negative integers on the left of the zero and the positive integers on the right of the zero. The integers is whole numbers, not including decimals or fractions. Again, this statement, the integers is whole numbers, not including decimals or fractions. Which is an integer? Number one, negative 0 0.5. Yes. Is that an integer or no? Not integer. Why? Because it's a decimal. And we said that the integers including just integers, not including decimals or fractions. Number two, negative 31 is an integer. Negative number. Okay, number three, negative 9 over 9. This is a fraction. No. Negative 9 over 9 equals negative 1, and this is an integer. Number 4, negative 3 over 7. Not integer. Why? Because it's a fraction. Number 5, 15 over 5. Miss, you said the fraction is not integers. No, but 15 over 5 or 15 divided by equals 3, and 3 is an integer. Okay, let's move to the next slide. Write an integer to represent each situation. Number one, a temperature is 12 degree below zero. The word below is a keyword according to negative 12. Number two, the three is four meter high. The keyword high means four positive, not four. Number three, a loss of 20 LE word loose means negative 20. Number four, a decrease of 200 LE, the word decrease means negative 200. And number five, four steps backward. Backward, the keyword according to negative numbers, so it will be negative four. It means that we have keywords according to negative integers and keywords according to positive integers. The keywords according to negative 
integers or negative numbers is like blue, loose, degrees, backward, and keywords according to positive numbers like high, forward, and increase. Okay, let's continue. Represent these integers on the number line. We have two types of number line: horizontal number line, like sleepy line number line, and vertical number line, like stand line. Okay, we have two types or two kinds of number line: horizontal number line, like sleepy line, sleepy number line, and vertical number line, like stand line. Represent. Represent it on the horizontal number line. We have some of the numbers, a group of numbers, and we wanted to represent it on the number line. Four, negative two, zero, three, and negative five. Number four, we will put we will put a point on the number line. Here's number four, negative two, negative two on the left of the zero, and zero, three, finally negative five. Okay, and how about represent some of numbers or a group of numbers on the vertical number line? So easy. 10, negative 2, negative 3, 5, and 3. Number 10, negative 2, down, negative 3, 5, and 3. Take a look of this number line. The vertical number line, the positive numbers is up and negative numbers is down. Okay. The opposite number or additive inverse, what is that meaning? On the number line, any two numbers that are the same distance from zero and on two opposite positions of it are called opposites or additive inverses. What is that meaning? Look at this number line. We have the distance from zero to five is five units, and the distance from zero to negative five is also five units. Another example, if I have two, the negative two, I want to know the distance. The distance from zero to two is two units and also the distance from zero to negative two is also two units. Okay, we have an example. Write the opposite of each integer. Letter A, negative five. What is the opposite of this integer or additive inverse? The negative five will be five. Letter B, what is the additive inverse of six? It will be negative six. Letter C, what is the additive inverse of the op or the opposite of zero is zero because we didn't have negative or positive zero, just a zero number, not positive or negative. Letter D, the additive inverse of negative 16 will be 16. Letter E, the opposite integer 1000, it will be negative 1000. Letter F, negative four, the opposite of negative four it will be Okay, take a look of this slide to understand the additive inverse or the opposite of the integers. Okay, let's continue. How can you compare and order integers? When comparing the two integers on a number line, the integer that is further to the right is greater. Again, the integer that is further to the right is greater. What does that mean? If I have this number line and point negative one, negative four, which one is bigger, four or negative one? Four, because the integer that is further to the right, to the right, not to the left, is greater. So four bigger than negative one. We have an example. So I will show you a number line to help you to solve these questions. 
four and three. We will put what four and three on the number line? Four and three. Which one is bigger? Four. Why? Because four is to the right. Okay, letter B, five or negative 10 it is number five. And number 10, which one is bigger? The number on the right, five is bigger than negative 10. Let us see negative 12 or negative four. I think is that negative four because negative four is the right, is on the right of the negative 12 on the number line. Zero or negative two will show zero and negative two on is zero and the negative two. Which one is bigger? Zero is bigger than negative two. Okay, negative eight and the negative seven is show you negative eight and negative seven. Which one is bigger? The number on the right or the number on the left? The number on the right, negative seven is bigger. Last one, negative three and negative seven. Okay, negative three and negative seven. Which one is bigger? The number on the right, it's negative three. So negative three is bigger than negative seven. Okay, arrange the following integers ones is in an ascending order and another in a descending order. We will arrange one time ascending order and another time to descending order. It is our numbers and the number line to help us. Ascending order and descending order. In the first, we will put our points on the number line to, to make it easy to arrange it ascending or descending. Number four, Negative five, one, negative three, zero, six, negative seven, and finally negative one. Okay, ascending order means I will arrange from the smallest to the biggest. We said that the number on the right is bigger than the number on the left. So we will start with the smallest number on the left. Negative seven, negative five, negative three, negative one, zero, one, four, and six. Okay, this time we will arrange in standing border from biggest means I will start from the numbers on the right on the number line. Six, four, one, zero, negative one, negative three, negative five, and negative seven. Take a look of this slide to understand the arrangement of the integers. Okay, let's continue our lesson. The second lesson, understanding rational numbers. What the meaning of rational numbers? A rational number is any number that can be written in the form A over B as a fraction where A and B are integers, B not equal zero. Again, it's a number that can be written as a fraction and b not uh, the denominator not equal to crumbles if i have five negative three zero three one over eight and i want to convert it to rational number i will make it as a fraction five will be five over one negative three will be negative three over one zero over one three one over eight i will convert it to improper fraction three times eight 24 plus one 25. Okay, rational number, we have a map, a small map to understand what is the rational numbers. 
includes not integer diffraction and decimals or integers. You have to type integers will be negative integers or natural number. Natural numbers start from 0, 1, 2, 3, and without ending. Negative integers is 0 and counting numbers. Counting the numbers means I will start from number 1, 2, 3 without ending. Take a look of this map to understand what is the rational numbers. And I will read again, rational numbers includes, so and not integers, fraction and decimals, and integers, not integers, fraction and decimals, because we said that integers not including the fraction or decimals. The integers includes negative integers and the natural numbers start from zero on the number line. Negative integers is zero and counting numbers. Okay, let's continue. Write the given national numbers in fraction form A over B. Negative 9, it will be negative 9 over 1. Negative 0 0.47 will be negative 47 over 100. So this will be converted to fraction. So 3 and 2 over 5, we will convert it to, to improper fraction. 3 times 5, 15 plus 2. So the answer it will be 17 over 5. Name numbers match the numbers to the best subset. Rational number, integer, counting number, and the natural number. First one, 0 0.475. What is kind of this number will be rational number? Say number two, one is a, I think, counting numbers. Okay. Negative 24 is an integer. Half is a rational number. 4.9 is a rational number. Was it a decimal? Negative 4.76 rational number. Last one, zero equals natural number. Okay, let's continue. Right belongs or doesn't belong. Negative three belong or doesn't belong to a set of natural numbers. Doesn't belong. Because natural numbers start with zero, one, two, three, four, without ending. Four over seven belongs or doesn't belong to a set of rational numbers? Belongs to. Why? Because the rational number, we can write it as a fraction. Number three, zero belong or doesn't belong to a set of natural numbers? Belongs zero is the smallest natural number we set up. 6.82 equals belong or doesn't belong to a set of integers? Doesn't belong because we said integers, not including decimals or fractions. 3, 2 over 5. <laughs> Belongs or doesn't belong to set of counting numbers? Doesn't belong, but it's a fraction. Mix it. Okay, comparing rational number in the opposite figure than x, smaller than y, we said that in the number line, the numbers on the right is bigger than the numbers on the left. We have an exercise to understand one over seven or six over seven, six over seven. Negative 4 over 5 or 3 over 4, B over 4. 2 over 3 or 4 over 5. 4 over 5 is bigger than negative 5 or negative 5.1, negative 5. Last one, 11 over 12 or 11 over 15. 11 over 12 because we take it in primary in 3 or 4. So it is a crazy one, kind of crazy in comparing Dutch. And that was our lesson for today. I hope you are listening well and see you soon. Goodbye.